Hi everyone, welcome back. And today we are going to look into what does actually work in the hood of logistic regression. That is, we are going to look into how the logistic regression algorithm works. So, as I've told you before, that uh, basically it's the quite the same thing, only that we have the uh, sigmoid function or the logistic which actually gives us the S shaped line which help us in the binary classification so we will look into how do we get it and what's exactly the sigmoid function so we'll start from our hypothesis so we will be having our hypothesis okay this is our hypothesis and this will lie between 0 and 1 right we have our binary classifier and our hypothesis the answer of this hypothesis will lie between 0 and 1 now what is this exactly h meter x okay this is nothing but our sigmoid function okay this is our sigmoid function passing my theta to x what is this if you could just recall with our theta transpose x if you could just recall from our uh, linear regression uh, algorithm so this is basically uh, the equation for the straight line. Okay, we have theta naught plus theta one x plus theta two x. We have looked into this, and we have bias term. Okay, so the main thing over here is the sigmoid function. This sigmoid function gives us the S shaped line that we have looked before. So let's look into sigmoid. Let's take this as t. It is nothing but 1 plus the exponential term of minus t. What is t? t is nothing but uh, where t is theta transpose x. Okay, these are the parameters, these are the uh, transpose term. So after this, we can just write it as 1 plus e to the power minus theta t. Okay, theta transpose x. So, this is our sigmoid function. You can write this term in this format also. This is our sigmoid function. Okay, our hypothesis is nothing but this current term. And this things give us this a shaped line if we just check it out let's take below we have t Oops. what is this x-axis x-axis is nothing but our uh, t okay but t is nothing but our theta t x okay whenever we pass it in the sigmoid function we will be getting something of us straight line we get as a uh, s-shaped line over here and we have a threshold value we have this threshold value okay what is this threshold value this is 0 0.5 this is 0 and this is 1 okay what a sigmoid function does is anything that is uh, above this threshold value it will be counted as one okay and anything below this 0 0.5 value is counted as zero okay that's exactly how our uh, sigmoid function works so basically our y bar okay y cap will be equal to zero and one zero if p cap is r what is p eventually only the uh, when i'm denoting p cap it's nothing but the hypothesis part when p cap is less than 0 0.5 and if it is equals to 1 when it is greater than 0 0.5 okay so just notice that uh, we have sigmoid t less than 0 0.5 when t is less than 0 when t is less than 0, we have the sigmoid function, uh, sigmoid t is less than 0 
and when sigmoid t is greater than equal to 0.5 then t is also greater than equal to 0 so a logistic regression model predicts 1 if our theta t x is positive and 0 if it is negative okay so a logistic regression algorithm is used for classifying data into discrete items 